Hello everyone and welcome to part 21 of my Learn Ethical Hacking course. In this part we're going to look at DNS spoofing and why it is so interesting and useful for attacking a computer. So this falls under the social engineering side of things because essentially the way DNS spoofing works is when a user tries to go to a website so they go to a URL in Google Chrome or the internet for example just types google.com that is essentially an IP address there needs to be a translation between an IP address and the URL itself so when you connect to google.com or google.co.uk essentially you're just connecting to an IP address and what we can do is with DNS spoofing we can change that IP address that they connect to so if we change that IP address we can change it to any single website possible so when they type in facebook.com or reddit.com and they visit reddit what will happen is it'll redirect them and they won't even know it because it will still be in the url bar that they're on reddit.com but what will happen is if we put in our own ip address of our own server then they will be sent to that and i think you can figure out from there what you can do with it well let's just get started if you don't really understand it, it'll make more sense throughout this video so i'm going to open terminal and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start the Apache 2 server. And if I get the file open for this, so this is the directory of the Apache 2 server. So we've got our payloads here, but the most important part of this is index.html. So I'm going to open it with another application. And what I'll do is I'll open it with Leafpad and from the previous videos in this course, it's left as my new blog, but I'll change it now to I'll just add an h1 tag and inside this h1 I'll put not really reddit sorry so hopefully you'll get the idea of what I'm going to do I've got a virtual machine running Windows 10 and what we're going to do is we're going to use man in the middle f to actually attack using DNS spoofing and then when they visit reddit it will redirect them to our server so I'll save that now close that and this could work if you're in a public hotspot um, it could work if you're connected to your neighbor's router or if you're in the same house and you're all connected to the same router you can do this to another device on the same router so it could be a brother's or sister's laptop only if you have permission so this video is for ethical and educational purposes only make sure you've got permission or make sure it's your own device that you're testing this on it's useful this video for pen testing so that now that that's out the way like i was saying if this is your neighbor for example and you're connected to their router so you've cracked the key and you've got into the router you can use this dns spoofing attack and then when they visit websites it will redirect them to your website same thing if you were in a public hotspot and say you created a fake access point and people are connecting to your fake access point called free wi-fi similar to my hacking demonstration so if you haven't watched that i recommend you go and do so but if people are connecting to your fake access point, then you could still do the same thing. You could use DNS spoofing and make websites um, change the IP address of certain websites. So now I've changed the index.html and our server's running. So all you need to do is type service Apache 2 start. That comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. So now we've got that sorted. The next thing we can do is if we open leafpad, so you just type leafpad etc man in the middle f man in the middle f dot c o n f for config so essentially it's just a config file then it should open in leafpad and if you scroll down to the a records you should see you should actually see the sprawl.org so this is just the default one just leave this but these are a records now you might have a few more you might even not have any here as long as you can type them correctly underneath so if you press enter and then hit tab a few times so the case is just underneath the asterisk or the bracket then you can add different websites so we can use dns here so if you want to use reddit now some websites may not work like facebook i've had some trouble with so we'll use reddit for this example so if i type asterisk full stop reddit.com then what we need to do is we need to redirect it to a certain IP address. So we're not telling them, or in a sense, we're telling the computers to send back a different IP address of a different website. And because our server is running, what we can do is 
if I just split this horizontally, and if you type ifconfig, you can get the IP address of your local server by just getting the IP address of ETH0. So I'm just going to copy this. Now this might be WLAN0 for you, depending on what card you're using, and if your machine is virtual or not. For me it's ETH0 and this is the IP address. So I'm just going to paste it here. So now when they type in reddit.com, it's going to send them to this IP address instead of Reddit's IP address. The asterisk is a wildcard, so any subdirectory of Reddit will also redirect to this IP address. So if we save this, then the last thing we can do is run the man in the middle F attack. So to do this, you need to type MITMF for man in the middle F, then ARP, then we need to spoof, then specify the type of card you're using. Now this bit might be a little bit confusing. So if you're in public, for example, and or even in your own house, and you've got your wireless USB card as a fake access point, so it's acting as a fake router and people connect to it, then what you will need to use is you will need to use WLAN 0 here or the name of your Wi-Fi card. Because I'm using a bridge connection to my host machine's internal wireless card, which is connecting to the router, then I'm using ETH0. So if you're, to make it, to give you a better understanding, if you, your neighbor has a laptop and you've got your computer and you both connect to the same router, you haven't got a fake access point, you just directly connect it to their router. Then you would use your wireless card, so your internal wireless card, which could be called ETH0, it might not be, you just have to type ifconfig and find out. Then you need to specify the gateway. So if you open your terminal and type ARP hyphen A, then you can find out your gateway. Now, depending on if you're using this as a virtual machine, as a dual boot on your laptop or computer, or using a wireless card. So if I enabled my wireless card and connected to my router instead, doing it that way, then my gateway will change even though I'm connected to the same router. The only reason my gateway is different is because this is a virtual machine connected to a bridge connection. So if I was to disconnect and go up here and connect my Wi-Fi with, with my USB adapter, then my gateway would change. However, you'd still be able to attack the computer because they're still connected to the same router, except they're not connected to your fake access point. So there's a few things you need to look out for. If one thing doesn't work, just change it to the next. There's not many other different things you can actually change. So once you've got your ETH0 or your WLAN0, depending on what you're using, then if we, you type the gateway, so you just need to copy this here. Now, like I said, it could be different, and this will be different for you, because this is the IP address of my router. Excuse me. So just type in ARP hyphen A and find out the gateway. Then you need the target IP address, so you can find that through sniffing, um, or you could find it through like Wireshark, etc. Then you need HSTS, and then the last command is DNS. So all the commands are with two hyphens, except the I to specify what type of card we're using. So once we click enter, so if we click enter on this, we get man in the middle F. We give it a few seconds and it should start to load. There we go, so now we're using a DNS attack. I'll close out of this terminal and if we go to our target machine now this is the IP address here of my target machine so just to prove that I'm going to type CMD then I'll get CMD up and if I type ARP hyphen A as you can see the gateway is exactly the same so this is another method to make sure if you're testing your own devices then you could type ARP A hyphen A on the Windows 10 machine and your Kali machine now your laptop could be running Windows 10, it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, they're both using the same gateway. So if we go back just to prove it, oh, I've closed it. But if we go up here, as you can see, the gateway is exactly the same. Then this is the IP address of the computer itself. This is the computer that we're attacking, their IP address. So if we go back to our Kali machine. In fact, what I'll do is I'll start the browser. So we've already started the attack anyway, so I'll open Internet Explorer. So let's say this person, this is a neighbor. Now you've connected to a Wi-Fi spot. 
and you've used DNS spoofing. So if you've got the gateway correct and you've got the IP address, so all you need to do now is wait for them to actually connect to your website. So if they search for Reddit, so you just type reddit.com, click enter, and as you can see, it says not really Reddit, sorry, but the URL is exactly the same as it would be for Reddit. So it's redirected them to our server. So that's essentially a DNS spoof. It can be very useful if you don't want to use the inject attack with man in the middle F, because if you remember from the previous few videos, we used man in the middle F to inject our beef hook. So this is a similar way to get them hooked to your beef. It could be a method to do that, could be something completely different. This is useful for phishing as well. So if you create a clone of reddit.com and then you spoof this, when they try and visit reddit.com, they'll be sent to your fake one and you can get all their login information. So I think you could put two and two together and realize what you can do with your script if you remember from Beefhook. That will be in the next video. So that was it for this one. If it did help, please leave a like. Comment if you're stuck with anything, I'll be happy to help and I will see you in the next video.